Let's talk about forward rate agreements or FRAs. A forward rate agreement is an over-the-counter contract between parties that determines the rate of interest to be paid on agreed, an agreed-upon date in the future. Now this is done on a notional amount. What does that mean? It means that the principal is not exchanged. So we set some amount, a million dollars, ten million dollars, a hundred million, and then we cash settle based on the difference between those rates. So FRAs are cash settled, and this payment is based on the net difference between the interest rate of the contract and the floating rate in the market, okay, usually LIBOR, but it, it can be some other reference rate. Forward rate agreements typically involve two parties exchanging a fixed interest rate for a variable one. So the party paying the fixed rate is referred to as the borrower. The party paying the variable rate is referred to as the lender. The borrower, for example, might enter into an FRA to lock in the rate if he believes that rates will rise in the future. What's the naming convention for FRAs? Well, we use this naming convention of X by Y. X represents the number of months until the contract expires, and Y is when the loan would expire. So Y minus X is the length of the loan. So for example, um, for a one by four FRA, that would be a three month, three months being 90 days loan, that begins one month in the future. For a two by eight FRA, that would be a six month loan that begins in two months. So what's the best way to sort of sort this out in your head? Just draw a timeline. So here I'm gonna do it for the one by four. So here we have one, here we have four. If we draw a timeline, right, this is one month in the future, this is four months in the future. So the contract ends here, contract expires here, and this is when the loan takes place, the loan will be for 90 days, that is 120 days, all right, four months, minus the fact that it doesn't start until one month in the future. So that's where we get the 90-day loan starting three months in the future. Let's take a look at how you solve for the payment from the borrower's perspective. So it's actually not as complicated as it seems. Here we have the FRA payment and it's going to be, let's, let's look in here. What we have is we have this reference rate R minus the forward rate agreement rate and we have to adjust by the number of days. These are annualized rates so if this is 90 days we've got to adjust for the fact that it's not a full year. And we tend to use 360 days for the number of days in the year, and then P would be the period or number of days in the contract period. So this would be, for example, let's say 90 divided by 360. Down here, all this is is a present value factor because what we really care about is settling up not at the end of, for example, four months, okay, or, or 90 days after um, the contract begins, we want to settle up at the beginning of the period. So FRAP is the forward re rate agreement payment. The FRA is the forward rate agreement rate, okay, or the fixed interest rate that will be paid. R is the reference rate or floating interest rate used in the contract. NP is the notional principle. Remember, here you're going to have some rate here, but it's based on some amount, uh, for example, a million dollars or $10 million, right? And P is the number of days in the contract period. Y is the number of days in the year um, based on the correct day count convention for the contract. All right, so let's look at an example. Suppose company A enters into a one by seven FRA with company B in which company A will receive a fixed reference rate of 5% on a principal amount of $10 million, okay, in half a year. And the FRA rate will be set at 
half a percent, that is 50 basis points, less than that rate. Okay, so this one by seven tells us it's a half a year, right? Begins in three months, or I'm sorry, begins in one month or 30 days, and seven minus one would give us six months. So it's a six month or half year rate. Company B is going to pay one year LIBOR rate. So let's see what happens at the end here. Um, the FRA, we said, is going to be this reference rate minus half a percent or 50 basis points. So it's 5% minus 0.5% or 4.5%. The reference rate was 5%. We're going to do this on a notional principle of 10 million, and this is half a year, 180 days, and we use this 360-day um, year convention. So when we punch the numbers in there, what do we get? We get that the payment that the borrower received, because the rate is actually lower here than this reference rate, is going to be 24000 $390.24 on a $10 million notional principal. So um, forward rate agreements are a way for a borrower to lock in a fixed rate if they think the rate is going up, and they're very useful for dealing with interest rate uncertainty.